Hey guys, hope everybody is doing really, really well today. Um, I've accidentally been on eBay again. Oops, you know how it is. And I've picked up a few bits over the recent past weeks or whatever. So it's enough in the drawer to make a tool haul. So I'll show you what I recently picked up and why I picked them up. There's a couple of cool items amongst this lot, which I'll show you. Um, so without further ado, um, I got another 18 inch offset backhoe and um, this one is pretty dirty but it's in much better condition i think than the last one so i think i should be able to just wire wheel this and get this clean and it should be okay the other one was pretty beaten or bashed up and i had to use the angle grinder so this is i think this is a bit even though it's rusty and pitted it's straight and it's reasonable so i think that might do clean up pretty well so i'm pretty pleased with that um, the next one is to finish my wall. This is another slightly better example, I think. This is a uh, Baco 15 inch offset, the 84. So this one just needs a wire wheel really, and then this should be okay and cleaned up a little bit. I might just sort that jaw out a little bit, just grind that off, but I'm not gonna do anything else to it. Um, so two great items there. Um, both of those were individual and I had to pay postage. With the 15 inch, these two small eight inches came with it. Um, a number 71, not in bad condition. The jaws look reasonably sharp. Quite a nice little wrench made in Sweden. And a uh, V steel number 60670, uh, six inch little guy. Um, also, pretty decent order. I didn't want these two items particularly, um, but they came, they came with this guy. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, the next item I bought was this little brass lock. Um, I just like little brass locks. Um, it came together with this one, it was a pair. I already have this little brass lock, but I didn't have this Yale. And it says Yale British made. I thought it was really funky design. I really like the look of it. So I've decided to, you know, I start collecting little brass locks now. Don't ask me why. Um, so yeah, so these two are one lot with postage. Um, a Yale um, 823, kind of a cool set of locks, if you don't agree. I bought this tiny little tag, it was only cheap, um, wasn't, it was only a few pounds, but I bought this little tag and it says uh, Tool Store, um, and it says uh, Davis, Parker Davis and Company Tool Store, one, one six four. so obviously I'm assuming people have this and when they take something they have to leave a token and when they get it they get it back or something and this might be the guy's name reference I don't know exactly how the token worked but I just thought it was cool tool store so I might put that on my keys I don't know or I might you know but anyway I just liked it so it caught my eye Um, the next one I got was this Democrat now I'm not sure if this is from the US or not it kind of reminds me of a van Dooley's, and that's the why I what why I picked it up. It's got like lo lots and lot. I really like the threaded wheel, you know, the knurling. It's got like six knurls. That one's got five. Traditionally, they only have a couple. They maybe three or four, like the uh, King Dick. So I just like the knurl thumb and that little bit of metal on the back to to, to try to stop the jaw bending backwards. But I just thought it was really cool, and it kind of looked like a King Dick. Uh, kind of like a van Dooley's of Holland, but it's not. But anyway, so that's the reason why I picked that up. This one caught my eye because it's very, it's very, very different. It's laminated. If you can see, it's got a laminated line all the way around it, which is kind of interesting. Um, it's got an adjustable. Um, I don't know what I just. It just look. It's just got a thin neck, and it, it's just a bit, you know, unusual. I'm not sure how early it is. Not sure the maker, and I'm not sure the country. I just know it looks different. So I decided to pick that up. I made the seller an offer. They accepted it. And I, and I bought that. I don't know why. I just I just thought the little thin neck, it just got a look to it. I just like it. So that little guy, it's got some writing here. I don't know if any of you can make that out. It, I think it says pattern and then number, but I'll, maybe I'll give it a wire wheel and see if anything else comes out. Now this little guy here is a Baco four inch nine, six, nine. Uh, made in Sweden, um, and it's uh, number number one four three. So that's the cast number um, of the of the actual stamp. But what's really really special about this 
it's a Jaguar. So this backhoe is a ja out of a Jaguar toolkit. And that is incredibly rare because usually they're Garrington. Um, you don't ever see backhoes. So I've never ever seen a backhoe um, out of a toolkit. I don't know if any of you guys have. Um, but this is a Jaguar backhoe 4 inch. And believe it or not, this is one of the most expensive items on this table. Um, really, really, really. Not the most, but very, very close to being the most expensive item on this table. Um, but the postage wasn't there if you look on the bright side, eh? <laughs> so a little 4 inch Jaguar. So that will go in the collection. I'll just take the rust off the, uh, the edge of it and give that a light clean. And that should be good. Um, the next one is is probably the star for me of all these items. This is a Baco one, uh, 133 um, pipe wrench. like um, And look at the teeth on that. This is from 1920. Um, and just look at the condition. It's even got the original nail screw. This is new old stock. I mean, there's not a single mark on the teeth. There's not a single mark on the teeth. The teeth are sharp. If this has ever grabbed something, you'd never know. It's just sharp as anything. So this is the nicest conditioned uh, one I've ever seen. A 133. I do have another one, which is a 131, um, which is, you know, still in good condition, but it's got pitting on it, um, heavily pitted on that side, you know, and you can see that the teeth are a bit flat. You know, they're a bit flat. Some they got flats and it looks like that. Um, has been squashed or worn down a little bit but comparing that what what an absolutely stunning item beautiful um 113 and this is a very very early pipe wrench very very collectible and sought after so i paid i paid a pretty penny for that one but i don't regret it and um, the next one we've got here which is a is a little machinist hammer but with a magnifying glass which with a uh and if you can see with a magnifying glass on it, so you can see Jaguar. Um, kind of cool. Um, it's a machinist hammer. And what's really cool about it, um, that's the chap who obviously owned it. A and you can see he's a machinist because look how straight he's stamped his name. F L St St Steely. Steely. I'm going to go with that. Steely. Steely. Anyway, whatever. Um, it's a Starrett, LS Starrett, and they still make these today, and they're about £65, 60-something dollars, something like that. Um, um, it's obviously got a little ball peen, and obviously it's for setting up machines, a little tapping, a little magnifying. I mean, you wouldn't have thought you'd put a magnifying glass in a hammer, but it's just uber cool. It's heavily rusted. Now, when I got this, I didn't know it had a chip. I don't know if you can see it's got a chip in the glass there. On that side, it's got a chip. So I actually paid a pretty penny for this, um, but when 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 I pointed out that I want, that it's damaged the glass and I and I didn't realise the condition because the photos wasn't that clear, um, he gave me a partial refund to compensate for that because it was in pretty poor condition. And I paid pretty much the price, um, it cost new, so he gave me a, a significant discount on that. Um, and then the last two items are really cool. These are beryllium copper telcom um, um, offset wrenches, spanners, um, and they are like new. I'm pretty sure these are new old stock. I mean, you'd think that they'd have much wear on them, you know, with them being soft material. But beryllium copper, and um, we've got, th I think it's on this side, is a half inch, and that side's a 7 sixteenths. And then this one looks like it's been polished, which looks a bit better in my opinion. We've got a Telcon 5 8 and a 9 16 um, Really cool. And then again, you've got that star pattern on the inside. It also looks like new. So I thought they were really, really cool. Um, so yeah, so these are, those will go in my uh, beryllium copper tool collection. I've not got any offset spanners. Um, I do have um, like this type of uh, wrench, like the uh, fixed one. Um, you know, open end fixed wrench, but it's nice to have some offsets as well. So that's really cool. So I was really pleased with that. So that'll add to the collection of the Brilliant. I need to do a probably a show and tell on my Brilliant collection now. There's a quite a few more items since the last time I had a look. 
Right guys, so hopefully you found that interesting. Um, this is obviously guess the price. So in the comments put, obviously these items, are, there's quite a lot of rare items in here which cost a lot. So, you know, one, two, three, kind of four, five rare items and then some smalls as well. So just bear that in mind when you're guessing. Plus there's postage on every item. Um, nothing was free postage. All right, I hope you enjoyed looking through them uh, bits and bobs. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day. Take care. Bye.